Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is one skill coming to your ears straight from Vilnius, Lithuania with the best tips and tricks to improve your PowerPoint game. I'm really happy and excited today because I want to share something really, really special and amazing with you. I'm talking about circular parallax zoom effect <laughs> and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's get started. So relax, place your, play your favorite music in the background and enjoy the video. So as you can see on my first slide, all I have is a nice background photo, a text box in the middle of the slide. And if you look closely, closely, it looks like there are two circles, uh, you know, in the middle of the slide. So nothing too fancy. But watch what happens when I transition to the next slide. Boom! Here you go! The circular parallax zoom effect in action. It looks like the whole you know, picture is like zooms into your face. <laughs> Man, I really, really like it. That's cool. And what's cool about this effect is that you can zoom back. Just click reverse. So you come back to the previous slide and you zoom back. Okay, let me show you this effect with a couple of other photos. So let's take a closer look. Boom, beautiful. And please note that I'm using PowerPoint 2016 and I'm using the morph transition. Morph transition is really the key for this effect to work. So just note that for this effect you will need PowerPoint 2016. Beautiful, feel the taste. One more photo. Beautiful. Sky is the limit. Really? Let's take a closer look. Well, yeah, sky is the limit. Okay, let's make some photos. Boom, beautiful, beautiful. So as I have mentioned, uh, I'm using PowerPoint 2016 and we need transition, which is called morph. Uh, we will have to set morph transitions transition for all of our slides for this effect to work. So just keep this in mind. Okay, and if you're wondering where I got the inspiration to create this kind of stuff, so you know, one day I was just, uh, you know, browsing. Oh, we will, we will come back to this awesome channel a little bit later. PowerPoint Pro, <laughs> my PowerPoint friend on YouTube. I was browsing, browsing through the videos and I saw this uh, video, this uh, parallax effect and it's a tutorial for After Effects, you know, it's Adobe program and yeah, it's something, something uh, similar that I, I actually created in PowerPoint. Well, you know, I saw this video and I thought to myself, is it possible to create it in PowerPoint and you know what? I think it really is possible. <laughs> okay, so let me show you how it's done. Uh, let's say you open up a blank new fresh presentation, which is completely blank and white. So the first thing you have to do is you have to find a nice beautiful photo. And a good place to look for photos is of course unsplash.com. So just choose a photo that you like. For example, let, let's use this photo. Let's save this picture somewhere on the desktop so that I can find it easily. I'll go to insert pictures and insert this picture on your first slide. Now it's very important that your picture is of the right dimensions. We need the dimensions 16 to 9 and I can say that this picture does not have these right dimensions. So what we, have to, what we have to do is we have to select a photo, go to crop aspect ratio and choose 16 to 9. Click it, 
you can adjust the positioning of the photo and click crop beautiful you have your photo with the right dimensions so just increase the size of the photo so it nicely covers the whole slide now just uh, let's save this picture on the desktop once again let's replace the original and we can delete the photo for now because we have it on our desktop okay so the first step the actual first step <laughs> We have to right click on this blank slide, go to layout and choose step number one. I have created these two steps, so just create step, uh, choose step number one. And you will get uh, three placeholders. You know, these, these placeholders are used to put some pictures inside of them. So two circles and one big rectangle. So all you have to do is click three times on this uh, picture icon and insert three pictures actually the same picture in these three placeholders so let's get going okay so select this picture that we have okay now select this photo send it to back so that we can insert pictures to other placeholders beautiful now let's select both of these uh, photos let's send it to back mm, once again let's send it to back <laughs> okay so let's maybe all we had to do maybe just to send to back this uh, small circle yes okay now i see i see this button and insert it and now let's send this big rectangle to back okay now let's select this circle, big circle and this rectangle and let's send them to back. Okay, beautiful. So the final result you should have is this uh, small circle with the photo on top of the bigger circle and on the rectangle. So this, this is how it should look like. So we are almost completed with the first step. We just have to adjust a little bit this uh, small circle photo. So what you have to do, just grab one of the corners and increase the size of this photo so you know that the bottom touches the bottom of the rectangle. Beautiful. Okay, and now let's just... Uh, I did it holding down the shift key, so that's why it's you know increasing to bottom and to top. But if I did it without holding down the shift key, this is probably what will happen to you. So you have to drag the bottom and then you have to drag the top. But with the shift key, it will be faster. Okay, and after that, press crop. Beautiful. So let's look what we have. So it looks like we have one big beautiful photo, which is divided into three parts. So two circles and a rectangle okay so we are completed with the first slide so what we have to do next we have to go select this first slide go to duplicate slide and we have duplicated the first slide and now on the second slide go to layout and choose step number two boom as you can see i have inserted a bigger a bigger place holders for images and powerpoint automatically fills those image uh, placeholders with the images that already were on the slide so very good for us so again uh, the rectangle is okay the big circle is okay all we have to do is just adjust a little bit this uh, small circle so click on the photo go to format choose crop and i would suggest increasing this photo to halfway half width of the of the bigger circle let me use the shift key hmm it doesn't work with the shift key so I guess we have to drag the bottom and the top so as you can see this is the full width of this of the second circle so I increase it just a halfway so here halfway and at the top halfway okay and click crop beautiful so yeah we we made it so let me show you in action what is the result 
So this is our first slide. Now I click any button on the keyboard to make a transition. Boom! <laughs> Parallax zoom effect. In action. Once again. Boom! Beautiful. We can even, so let's select the second slide, we can even even slide this inner photo you know a little bit to left or right I think it will give some additional cool feeling so let's try it to something like this okay and once again so click boom yeah that's 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 interesting <laughs> So here you go, here we go. So this is the circular parallax zoom effect. So I will put uh, this template uh, in the video description so you can download it. And yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, this effect that I showed you today was not the only amazing and exciting thing I wanted to share with you. Another thing is PowerPoint Pro channel. <laughs> this guy, he's my friend on YouTube and he does lots of amazing stuff with PowerPoint as well. If you want to learn how to draw uh, icons in PowerPoint yourself, you can learn it here. He has a whole playlist on this subject. If you want to enjoy some speed art, some really beautiful speed art in PowerPoint, you have a playlist here as well. PowerPoint Pro gives you lots of tips and, you know, advices on how you can make your PowerPoint slides look professional. So that's really beautiful. As you can see, he has quite a lot of subscribers and I'm sure he will pass me <laughs> very soon because he's doing a great job. He's a great artist and probably we will have a collaboration in the near future. So if you have any requests or any ideas on what our collaboration could be about so please let me know in the comments below and i'm sure we will make it for the powerpoint pro so thanks for watching and have a wonderful day